My dog seen me naked and he didn't care. In the annals of embarrassing moments, few can rival the sheer nonchalance of my recent encounter with my dog. Picture this, I in all my naked glory, expecting at least a wag of surprise or a curious tilt of the head. Instead, what I got was a masterclass in indifference that left me questioning not just my dignity, but also the very nature of canine-human relations. Join me as I recount the hilariously uneventful tale of how my furry friend shattered all expectations with a glance that said, meh, seen it all before. A tale of unimpressed fur, how my canine companion mastered the art of ignoring. In the grand theater of life's awkward moments, there are few scenes as cringeworthy yet comically mundane as the day my dog caught me in the buff. One would expect a pet's reaction to such a sight to range from startled curiosity to outright scandalized barking. However, my furry friend had clearly attained a level of zen-like indifference that would make even the most seasoned yogi envious. It all started innocently enough. I was going about my morning routine, blissfully unaware that fate had conspired to orchestrate this comedic masterpiece. As I stepped out of the shower, I was greeted not by gasps or shocked expressions, but by a pair of uninterested eyes framed by a fluffy coat of fur. My dog, let's call him Zen Master Rover, lounged on the floor with a look that seemed to say, Oh, you're naked. How quaint. The lack of reaction was both astonishing and slightly disheartening. Here I was, expecting at least a bark of surprise or a tail wag of amusement, and all I got was a nonchalant blink. It was as if I had walked into a room full of statues, each one more indifferent than the last. As I hastily attempted to cover up my exposed vulnerability, Zen Master Rover remained unfazed. It was as though he had mastered the art of selective blindness choosing to ignore the spectacle before him in favor of more pressing matters like nap time or snack cravings. In that moment, I couldn't help but admire his sheer mastery of nonchalance. While I grappled with feelings of embarrassment and self-consciousness, my canine companion remained the epitome of cool indifference. It was a lesson in humility and acceptance, served with a side of fur and a dash of canine wisdom. Zen Master Rover had taught me that sometimes, the best response to life's absurdities is a simple shrug and a wag of the tail. The audacity of indifference, lessons in body acceptance from a four-legged critic. In the world of body acceptance and self-love, we often turn to human role models or inspirational quotes for guidance. However, my eye-opening encounter with my dog brought a whole new perspective to the table, or should I say, to the floor where he lounged with all the nonchalance of a seasoned body positivity advocate. As I stood there, caught in a moment of exposed vulnerability, I couldn't help but marvel at my dog's complete lack of judgment. There were no raised eyebrows, no whispers of critique, just a furry friend content in his own fur and utterly unfazed by the sight of mine. It was as if he had attended a masterclass in body acceptance and graduated with flying colors. In a society obsessed with unrealistic beauty standards and constant self-improvement, my dog's indifference was like a breath of fresh air. Here was a creature who didn't care about cellulite or stretch marks, who didn't judge based on waist size or muscle tone. To him, I was simply me, naked or clothed, flaws and all. It made me wonder how much unnecessary pressure we place on ourselves to conform to impossible ideals. We spend hours agonizing over every perceived imperfection, striving for a perfection that doesn't exist outside of airbrushed magazine covers. And yet, here was my canine companion, living his best life without a care for societal expectations. In that moment, I made a silent pact with myself to embrace my body just as my dog did. With acceptance, love, and a healthy dose of indifference to the noise of external judgments. After all, if a four-legged critic could be so utterly unbothered by my naked form, why should I be anything less than proud of it? Furball philosopher, unveiling the Zen wisdom of a naked encounter with Fido. As I reflected on the absurdity of my naked encounter with my dog, I couldn't help but marvel at the hidden depths of wisdom that lay within those furry paws. It was as though my canine companion had donned the robes of a Zen master, imparting profound lessons in the most unexpected of moments. The first lesson came in the form of detachment. My dog's indifference wasn't just a lack of reaction, it was a demonstration of detachment from societal norms and expectations. In a world where we are constantly bombarded with images of perfection and pressure to conform, Zen Master Rover's nonchalance was a reminder to let go of the need for approval and simply be ourselves. The second lesson was in the art of living in the present moment. Dogs are masters of mindfulness, fully immersed in whatever they are doing without distractions or worries about the past or future. In that brief naked encounter, my dog's focus was solely on the present. No judgment, no regrets, just an acceptance of what is. The final lesson was perhaps the most profound. 
The power of unconditional love and acceptance. Despite my exposed vulnerability, my dog's love remained unwavering. There were no conditions attached to his affection, no judgments based on appearance or perceived flaws. It was a pure, unadulterated love that transcended physical appearances and societal expectations. In the end, my naked encounter with my dog became a lesson in embracing the simplicity and wisdom of life's everyday moments. Through his nonchalant gaze and unwavering love, Zen Master Rover reminded me that true happiness comes from within, from accepting ourselves fully and embracing the beauty of imperfection. Final thoughts. In the quirky saga of my dog's nonchalant encounter with my naked self, there lies a tapestry of lessons woven with humor, humility, and profound wisdom. As I wrap up this tale of unexpected enlightenment, I am left with a few final thoughts to ponder. Firstly, the power of indifference should not be underestimated. In a world that often thrives on drama and overreaction, my dog's calm response was a refreshing reminder to approach life's quirks with a sense of humor and perspective. Secondly, body acceptance and self-love are not just buzzwords, they are essential ingredients for a fulfilling life. My dog's unconditional acceptance of me, flaws and all, highlighted the importance of embracing ourselves with kindness and compassion. Lastly, amidst the chaos of daily life, there is beauty and simplicity. My naked encounter with my dog stripped away societal facades and left behind a raw, unfiltered moment of connection. It was a reminder to savor the small joys and find wisdom in the mundane. So to all the furry philosophers out there and their human companions, let us embrace each moment with a wag of the tail, a shrug of indifference, and a heart full of love. After all, in the grand scheme of things, a naked encounter with a dog may just be the dose of humility and laughter we all need.